Remote recording is a necessity for many online business owners, but if you're unsatisfied with Zoom or looking to streamline your workflow with an all-in-one tool, then I'm excited to introduce you to Squadcast by Descript. You may know Descript as one of my favorite platforms for course creators, YouTubers, and podcasters. And that's because their text-based editor automatically transcribes your files and makes editing as easy as deleting a sentence from a document. And if that wasn't enough, Descript recently became even more useful when they acquired Squadcast, a top remote recording platform known for its reliability and chosen by This American Life, NPR, The New York Times, and more. So in this demo, I'll show you exactly how you can set up, record, and edit remote recordings with ease using Descript powered by Squadcast for no additional charge. Hey, I'm Alyssa and welcome back to Wit & Wire, where we help everyday experts become profitable course creators. If you're new to Descript, you can get started with a free trial by visiting witandwire.com slash Descript. And as long as you're an active Descript user, you'll be able to use Squadcast for no additional charge integrated natively within their platform. To answer a quick FAQ, long-term Descript plans to fully incorporate Squadcast's remote recording technology within the Descript app. But while they work on that update, you can get started right away with a free Squadcast account via your Descript account. So let's take a look at how it works. First, let's connect Squadcast with Descript. If you're new to Descript, you'll start by visiting witandwire.com slash Descript to create your account. From there, you'll be prompted to download the app to your computer. So if you're already a Descript user, we'll all meet together here in the app, and then you'll click on the top right on the icon that says your initials, and then you can click settings. From here, we'll head to subscription, and I'm going to click connect to Squadcast. This brings up a new window, and this is not asking for your Descript account. This is asking you to create a new account. So I'll enter my email address and password, and then I'll click continue. Here, you want to choose already have a Descript account, and then on the next page, because I'm already logged into Descript, I have a confirmation that I'm getting access to remote recording for free. And down below, I can see the name of my drive, which is Wit & Wire. That's correct. If you had more than one drive, you might need to go back to Descript to change drives, but this is correct. The name of my new Squadcast organization is going to be called My Organization. That is also correct. So I will go ahead and redeem this offer. And it might just take a quick second to connect those two accounts. Once you land on the Squadcast dashboard, that's how you'll know that your account creation is complete. And now that we're here, we're ready to prepare for our remote recording by scheduling a session. From the dashboard, you can click create new session. And although you can start a session immediately, I'm going to schedule one in the future. Let's give this a title, maybe something like interview with Katie, and then we can schedule this for a date in the future. You can also choose a start time. So maybe this is starting at four o'clock PM and ending at 5 PM. And I'm double checking the time zone, which is correct. You also have the choice between video and audio or audio only. So if you're doing a podcast, you might choose audio only. But for today, I'm gonna go ahead and choose video and audio. Now on the right, you have a few other options about how you can share this with your guest. The first option is to copy this link and send it to them directly. The other option is to add someone's email address right here and it will send them the invite. Both are great, it's totally up to you. For today, I will just put this on my clipboard because we are going to simulate this interview with a computer from the other room. So let's click done to lock in those choices. Now I can see this on my dashboard. Here's my upcoming session with Katie. And if I had more than one event, they would show up here chronologically. You can easily grab the share link here. And when you're ready, you can click start session. Now let's say I email that link to my guest and the day of the recording is here. So next let's talk about how you can start your remote recording in Squadcast. When you're ready, you'll come and click start session. So let's open this up and you might need to allow some permissions and click get started. And you'll notice it just takes a couple of seconds once you allow those permissions to kick in and we're getting a quick tour of the interface. So right now we're in what's called the green room. It's not currently recording. So let's click next and move a bit through the tour. You'll also notice they're suggesting things like adding headphones, which I am going to put on in a second. And you'll also want to just check through all these settings on the side. So up first, let's enter our name and add my pronouns. And because I am going to wear headphones, I don't need to do this. So let's switch over the microphone first from the default over to the Shure MB7 and the camera. We'll see if it lets me do this. I am gonna use the same camera that you see on the side. Okay, now there's two Melissa's. So what I'm gonna do next is make sure that my headphones are plugged in. And while I do this, 
The reason why this is a best practice is because it reduces the echo. Imagine I was talking with a guest and the sound of their voice is coming out of my computer. My microphone could easily pick up on that sound. So when both of you wear headphones, it's already going to increase the quality of your audio just by reducing that echo. So now I can see it has acknowledged my AirPods and I am going to click join session. Now, before I bring in my fictional guest, let's get a quick tour of the recording interface. Along the bottom, you see the most important buttons. Here's the record button. And my recommendation is typically to hit record at the beginning of the interview and then just go straight through. And coming up, I'll show you how you can edit that remote recording easily in Descript. You can turn off your microphone or camera by clicking either of these two icons. And you can also change the settings for your inputs here. And this is similar to what we saw on the previous screen, but you can update those choices here. You can also share your screen if needed, and you can close the right sidebar or open up the chat. And then another button that's useful to know about is this invite button. So previously we copied that link and we already sent it to our guest, but you can also invite them directly here to be on the stage or into an area called backstage. So these participants can watch, listen, and chat, but they don't actually appear on screen. So I'm going to click invite and just maybe put this on my clipboard just to show you how easy it is to do, but my guest should be here shortly. Now, since this is a fictional recording, the only guest I could get to appear on such short notice is Cardinals Bear from my living room. So Cardinals Bear is tuning in from my iPhone and I can actually see on the side that they're on an Apple device on Safari. So I do think that's useful to see. And you can also see some additional settings here about either renaming this guest, sending them a message or moving them backstage, which would take them off camera and off audio. Now we look ready to record. I can tell Cardinals Bear has a lot to say. So I'm gonna go ahead and click record and there will be a quick countdown. And now we are recording. So I am going to record a little bit of content because I wanna have something in the editor for you to see, but I am not going to have you sit through this very one-sided interview. So let's fast forward to when this recording is finished. And now I'm gonna show you where to find your recordings in Squadcast. When your recording is finished, you'll press stop. This will bring up the option to either start a new recording or leave the session. So I'm going to click leave session and head back to the dashboard, but I could immediately start editing it into script, which is probably the selection I would choose. But let me just briefly show you in the dashboard where this appears from the Squadcast homepage. I can either click on this session or head into recordings, and I'm going to click on this menu and click add to workflow. This will bring up those past recordings and I could click watch if I wanted to preview and see what this looked like. But what I'm gonna do is keep both of these selected and I'm going to click edit into script and I'm going to select edit all with both audio and video. And this will export those files directly to Descript to start the editing process. Here I'm prompted to create a project and import the files. And I'm gonna put this into the wit and wire workspace, maybe under podcast. So let's pick that location and create the new project. Now this would let me continue in the web version of Descript, but I'm gonna click open desktop app so I can continue editing this in the full Descript app, which just has a few more features. Here is our new project. And the first thing I'm going to do is rename this file. So maybe I'll call it interview with Cardinals Bear. And then let's take a look at the recording. Immediately, you might notice that Descript has automatically transcribed the full interview. And this is where we'll do our editing coming up. But first, a few more logistics updates. I would recommend that you name the tracks based on the speaker. So track number one, I know is me. So if I double click, I can type Melissa and create the speaker named Melissa. And it looks like Cardinals Bear didn't have too much to say. It looks like Melissa just spoke for the whole, the whole conversation. So that is all set. The other thing you might notice is that even though I'm talking, I'm seeing the bear on the side. So what I would recommend is that you click over here and change this in the multicam layout to active speaker. Now, the second part of this is that you'll need to click over here and you'll want to make sure that these layers are both turned on. So here I can see that the camera is not quite the full size of the screen. So maybe I'll just drag and drop this so that it fits within this box. And I could do the same thing for Cardinal Spare. So now if I put my cursor at the beginning and I click play, you'll actually see my camera moving along with the transcript. Next, let's take a look at Descript's editing tools. By nature, it is a text-based editor, which means that I could select a sentence and click backspace and it would remove it from the recording. In fact, I know that I restarted because I see, and now we are recording, 
there will be a quick countdown. I know I can get rid of that right away and I can see some duplicates coming up. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is select this sentence, in fact, this whole paragraph, and I'm just gonna click backspace on my keyboard and maybe I'll click delete a couple times to bring this back up. Now the recording starts when I say, and now I'm gonna show you where to find your recordings. So I think we can get rid of all of this too. And you may have this in your own recording. There's just a bit of filler in the beginning. Now this looks good to me. So as I kind of listen through, I might notice that around here, I pause, I restarted. So the first cool tool I wanna show you is that if you right click here, you can edit the word gap and just shorten it to be a natural gap. That's what I would do if I had continued on to a new sentence, but wanted to shorten the gap between phrases or sentences. But instead I can see, you may know Descript as, this is exactly the same as the next. So I will probably get rid of the first version and now I would be ready to go. There are some additional editing tools to know about. For example, if you type the backspace or the backslash key, this creates what's called a scene. You can see it here on the side. And when you create a new scene, that means that you can have a new configuration of the video on the right. So this doesn't apply for audio as much, but now if I wanted, I could change the way that this camera appears. I could put text on screen. I could add additional shapes. There's a lot more to unpack. And if you're interested in a full editing tutorial, let me know in the comments. But for now, what I can say is that after you go through everything and maybe I delete this at the end, you would be ready to publish your remote recording. In Descript, on the top right, you can click the publish button. And this gives you a few options. You can head over to export. And most likely if you're doing a video, you would be exporting this video file, but you could also export audio only, or you could click publish. And this gives you a few different options to publish to the web or to any number of their direct integrations. I typically just publish the file here by clicking export. And then if it were a podcast, I might import it into my podcast hosting platform. Though again, you might find some of those listed here. And the reason that, for example, Captivate is currently grayed out is because this is a video file not compatible with Captivate. It must be audio only. So if curious why that's appearing, that's typically the explanation. As a bonus, I also wanna spotlight some of Descript's AI features that can streamline your workflow and improve the quality of your recording. The first is called Studio Sound. So if you head into Descript and maybe you notice that there's some background noise on your guest's recording, you can add something called Studio Sound to remove some of those hums or fan sounds and get the most out of their audio quality, even if they don't have a nice microphone. First, you'll wanna select the text and then on the right, you'll see a toggle for Studio Sound. And you can see that it applies it to both tracks by default, but you can also add it to only one track or the other. So I could only apply it to the Cardinal Bear track if needed. You can also adjust how much the intensity is. So I know this is a bit behind, but if you move your cursor or maybe just type in 80%, not 800%, it will minimize the amount that the studio sound switch is applied. So you can play around and see if you want 100% intensity or a little bit less for the best output. Another popular feature is the filler word removal tool. So on the top of your composition under actions, you can search for remove filler words. It's prompted right here. And then you can decide which filler words to look for. And if you're on certain paid plans, you can unlock even more. But let's say I just kept all the basics. I now have the option to choose if I want to delete them delete them and replace with a gap, which is probably more suited to an audio only recording. Or maybe you want to leave them in the recording, but remove them from the transcript. So I like that you have different options. And I will also add, you do not need to sound like a robot to deliver high quality content, but this can certainly help clean up the right recording, especially if you feel like you do have a lot of filler words. And I would add, especially if you're doing audio only, because I think it's more natural to edit them out when people cannot also see you on camera, but that's just my opinion. Descript is also constantly innovating and releasing new feature and one new release I found under publish and then specifically under publishing a YouTube video is their AI generated description with timestamps. Now this video is not giving them much to work with, but as somebody who does produce YouTube videos, I think that this could be a huge time-saving feature for a lot of creators. I know this high level overview barely skates the surface. So if you're curious to check it out, I would encourage you to create your own account by visiting witandwire.com slash descript and then connecting it with Squadcast to start your first remote recording. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Wit and Wire for more of our simplified online business and course creation tutorials and give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful.
By the way, here's another video that I think you might enjoy.